Hi everybody, my name is Ellie, it's my birthday, so please leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel, and here's Bill Hicks. And they said, you know, they had to break down the compound because child abuse was stepping up. Well, if that's true, how come we don't see Bradley Tanks knocking down Catholic churches? You know, I mean, if, in fact, child abuse is your concern. Actually, folks, I don't know if any of y'all have seen this. It's a tape kind of bootleg going around of showing film of the Bradley Tanks not knocking, as the official story was, small holes to insert tear gas, but crashing the building off of its foundation and fire shooting out of the tanks. The FBI and the ATF are liars and murderers, and Janet Reno and President Clinton either A, knowingly passed on a lie, or B, are so out of touch with their own arms of their government that they're incompetent and Clinton should be impeached immediately case files and y'all have probably seen the footage but it's sort of different than the official story isn't it small holes tear gas giant holes flamethrowers <laughs> they burn these people in their homes okay that's our government okay he's not wrong tape and I, it's fucking real and uh, whatever make your own conclusions you haven't seen it so you, it's you know <laughs> make your own conclusions well, if you haven't seen something conclusions about these I know there's 12 guys who run the world, and uh, they own yep. every company, and, you know, it's, it's, it's fact. You can look at it. Your Rockefellers, your Rothschilds. I'm not a conspiracy nut. This is all on paper. There really are 22 families who, who run and own 50% of the mainstream media, which is where we get our news. And, uh, and it's true. It's a fact. You can look it up. I don't, you know, I, I, I can't be this big of an ass without having the truth to back me up. Otherwise, I'd be <laughs> not doing this. That's but true. But so if you have the truth with you, you can do this. He's got a great point. It's all about what's your source these days. You can't just make claims without evidence and truth to back up what you have to say. Unless you're on the wrong side of the political spectrum, according to the narrative, then facts, truth, and evidence don't matter anymore. But, you know, I knew Clinton was in with the big boys when he bombed Iraq. Do you remember that? two-day news story, Clinton launches 22 cruise missiles on Baghdad in retaliation for the alleged failed assassination attempt against George Bush. We launched 22 $3 million a piece cruise missiles to Baghdad, killing six innocent people. I think that was a little overdone, you know? You know what we should have done? We should have embarrassed the Iraqis. We should have assassinated Bush. <laughs> And said, that's how you do it, towelhead. Don't f with us. <laughs> Woo! And see, if Bush had been the one who had died, there would have been no loss of innocent life. <laughs> yeah, so you see, oh, I mean, that would have saved us uh, $100 million. And I love that, too, how uh, the media called it, uh, everyone in the government media called it a cowardly act on the Iraqis' part because some Iraqi guy was going to drive a Toyota car bomb and blow himself up in the process of trying to kill the President of the United States because that's all they can really do since we are the imperialist rulers of the New World Order. And we call that a cowardly act. Meanwhile, we're launching cruise missiles 200 miles away from floating iron islands. <laughs> Who are the cowards again? <laughs> okay. Mm. This is the material, by the way, that's kept me virtually anonymous in America. Yeah, I was just about to say something like that, actually. Him talking about this stuff in general is probably why, you know, his career never took off, you know, before he died. I mean, he was, he was a popular comedian for sure right before he passed away, but he spoke about very controversial topics that were considered conspiracy theories and uh you know most famously talking about the jfk assassination which uh you know if you've kept up with the twitter files might be something to look into uh you know this man was obviously very intelligent obviously very troubled um he wanted to put his word out to the people of america to open their eyes about things that are happening in other countries right before their eyes while they're distracted. Um, and he has to put it in the form of comedy or else people wouldn't even give him the time of day. I can relate to that. You know, no one knows me. No one gives a f Meanwhile, they're draining the Pacific and putting up bench seats for Carrot Top's next Showtime special. 
Carrot yeah. Top. For people who didn't get Gallagher, you know. You know, Gallagher. Only America could produce a comic named Gallagher who ends his show by destroying good food with a sledgehammer. Gee, I wonder why we're hated the world over. All these fat Americans on the front row. <laughs> now this is comedy. <laughs> that Bill Hicks is just bitter. I get tired listening to him. <laughs> Why can't he hit fruit with a me with a <laughs> hammer? He's just jealous he didn't think of it. <laughs> Folks, I did think of that. I was two at the time. And I said, this is real stupid. Fucking idiot. I could have been the young Gallagher in diapers, walking around being a millionaire, franchising myself, but no. I had to have this weird thing about trying to illuminate the collective unconscious and help humanity. Moron! <laughs> Seriously. So yeah, what I take away from that is a, is a man who just wants to inform people and, you know, use whatever platform he has to try to spread awareness to the corruption that's going on in the government. And obviously this is a sign of the times, right? Uh, about the Clintons. But to think that there is absolutely no corruption going on in our government in 2023 is, quite frankly, in my opinion, delusional. Uh, but, you know, living in your own delusions is trendy these days. Bill Hicks, one of his most famous stand-up performances is from this TV special called Revelations. And as of today... January 15th, 2023, my birthday. Please like and subscribe. YouTube is taking down this video. Uh, I got blocked trying to upload my last version of this very video, completely ineligible for monetization for a lot of content creators and actually blocked to be seen by America. Imagine how Bill Hicks would feel if his content was being blocked from being seen in the United States after his death. It is insane. But it's almost like we are being controlled by a totalitarian regime who doesn't want to give you information, even in the form of comedy anymore. Hmm. What's so important about this act in particular is that he calls out the utter hypocrisy and lunacy of the whole public narrative around the JFK assassination. He talks about how JFK was hit back into the left. And he shows that, like, the footage shows his head moving that way. So it makes sense that the bullet does not come from the back into the left, but from over there. And he talks about how he went to the museum called the Assassination Museum, where people can go up to the sniper's nest, but it's all blocked off by glass. So you can't actually go to the window because if you went up to the window, you would be able to see that you couldn't see the road from there. I find it no coincidence that this is being taken down or blocked in the United States right after the Twitter files drop. This is totalitarian censorship in real time. The fact that they are copyright claiming comedians after they are dead who question the mainstream narrative. I will get copyright claimed and demonetized with a threat to a strike to my channel if I just review or react to this footage. And they're Copyright claiming it as music, it's just not worth it. So, if you have a rumble, please go follow me over there where you can see the original video. Crazy times we live in. This is censorship. The American people need to see it. If it's all a conspiracy theory, why is America trying so hard to censor this video? It's almost like they have something to hide. And I feel like Bill because in the same act, he talks about how people in America just kind of brush him off. Like, Bill, can you stop talking about it, man? It was so long ago. You know, it's just taking over democracy by a totalitarian government. <laughs> Let it go. Back into the lift. Don't worry, I'm sure they're not trying to hide anything. The government has figured out how it's all transpired. Don't worry about what you think. Stay asleep, America. It's called the American dream for a reason. Here, here's Wednesday Adams. Shut up. Watch this. Shut up. Here's some fan service for you. Don't worry about what actually is going on behind closed doors. Trust our YouTube algorithms. We're taking down content for your safety. We want to make sure the American people stay safe from critical thought and freedom of speech and fair use. 
Go back to bed, America. Back into the left. <laughs>